Computer gaming technology is being used to help troops train how to spot IEDs. The Human Interface Technologies team at the University of Birmingham is writing a series of games-based simulations for the MOD. Will Inglis has donned his virtual body armour to explore the Afghan village they've created. Most modern-day soldiers are no strangers to computer games. But this Afghan village isn't something out of Call of Duty. It's a training aid for troops deploying for real. I should stress that what we're trying to do is not replace reality. We, this, this technology will never replace reality, not until they invent something like the Star Trek holodeck. What we're trying to do is to make sure that the skills that are embedded in these guys before they go into a real setting are, are fostered in, in, in the most advantageous and familiar way. The technology is being developed at the University of Birmingham for situations that are hard or expensive to repeatedly exercise in the flesh. What we've got here is, is a hypothetical town. Uh, it's got a railway station, it's got a you know, block of houses, it's got a car park, it's got a hospital and so on and so forth. And what this is designed to do is to provide the Defence Explosive Munitions School with an instructor-led tool to help train future counter-ID EOD technicians and specialists with um, the, the wherewithal to plan their render safe procedures. The game can be tailored to replicate any real town and the programmers have recently been asked to add a stadium and airport. We can drive the vehicle up to, for example, the open door of this BMW so we can start to look at what the threat might be. Notice that the, the, the boot's open, so if I can bring, again, bring the cutlass vehicle, the virtual cutlass around, we can then switch camera mode from mass camera to the gripper camera and then I can bring the manipulator around and we can start inspecting, for example, the contents of the boot. The technology can be used to improve psychological well-being too. This visualisation of Wembury on the South Devon coast could improve the lot of wounded soldiers. It's certainly better than having a view onto the helicopter landing pad at Queen Elizabeth Hospital here in Birmingham. And we're hoping to be able to put these large screen monitors into the recovery wards of places like 412 Ward over at Queen Elizabeth to help with the, uh, the restoration of the, uh, the, the well-being of the patients over there. The beauty of this kind of technology is that you can explore in the first person any kind of environment. Here we're on the South Devon coast looking at a beautiful view to help psychological recovery after a traumatic incident, but this can just as easily be turned to war fighting applications. Even though it may have been developed for defence, there's a good chance this virtual tranquility could also be sold on to the NHS. Will Inglis, Forces News at the University of Birmingham.